Warning, the video you are about to see has some pixelated nudity and pornographic material. Viewer discretion is advised. If you get a boner from this, I will not judge, but I would go see a doctor about that. Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Angry Video Game Night Adventures. Um, for some reason during the last recording, I obviously did it, but when I started it up again, and I started my initial recording, um, yeah, it said I didn't complete the last two levels. So I had to do those real quick. So now, we're gonna go straight for Beat It and Eat It. Oh my. Mike? Let's do this. Like I said, I like going as Mike. Because he's the one that finds all the secrets. Uh, this. I'm guessing it's like... I don't know what the fuck it is. I don't know all like the weaknesses and resistance for all the uh, for like the enemies like which ones which ones uh, resist uh, melee and which ones don't. I'm gonna do this. Fuck you, Josh. These bouncy titty things will always follow you. It's just a little tiny See, there we go. Uh, those squares are like bubbles. It's supposed to be like an Atari. This, this part is annoying. Because I can never remember where the fuck these things are. And when I should move. This isn't too hard. As I say as I die. Fucking genius. And, uh, I'm gonna say this. We're gonna go to my least favorite. We're going to my least favorite area after this. I really don't like the last place. Oh! Plus, I love Mike for the bouncing bugs. You know, all of those. I don't know what the hell these things are. It scares me. Okay. So you got the guitar guy. These starfishes are like fireballs. They're immune and will block your attacks. I always fall down for jump up, even I don't need to. A secret. Here we'll find our final character. Hey, it's bullshit man! It's James's other character, Bullshit Man! Special ability? Double jump. Of course, he kinda has a crap jump, but his double jump allows him to like. It's not really a double jump. It's more of a like um, extended jump. Because he doesn't get more height. He gets a little, but it's not really much. But his big thing is he hits like a motherfucker. He will wreck shit up. He's the strongest character, but he's kind of the heaviest, if that makes sense. Well, Mike is the weakest character, but the lightest. So think of Mike as Peach in a uh, Mario sense. Mike is like Luigi, actually. Uh, Actually, Mario, Super Mario 2 doesn't really try to go back. You can jump over this with Mike, or if you want to be a bullshit man, you can double jump. 
up. I don't know why I went for that. So, I don't know. So I just love taking out the bullshit man and just wrecking shit. See, like, these things only take two hits. He hits like a tank. Unfortunately, he doesn't jump high, so platforming isn't going to be strong. You want, you use him if you need to, if there's like a wall in the way. Oh, I should pickle. If there's a wall in the way and there's just, you need him, you need to double jump for him. Uh, to get past it. Oh, I, I hate this part. Uh, on normal, because I can never freaking time this right unless I have a controller in my hand. And well, I can't play this game very well with a controller in my hand. And yeah, Mike isn't the best. This, I would recommend holding on to. Fuck's sake, we're gonna need. I lose it all in that. I'm gonna die too because I can't I couldn't get through. But luckily we can always just get it back. I'm not even trying to do that. Ugh. This part is ugh. You can't dodge these starfishes at all. What's the point of these starfishes? Oh, I think I get it now. <laughs> They're brown. Like chocolate. They're chocolate starfish. Oh, I just got this. Oh, I'm kind of tired. So I'm probably pressing it. You fucking asshole. My friend exactly. I honestly don't know how to fuck to dodge it. I can't get the timing right to dodge it right. So I can never keep it. On rare occurrences, I can. And I have to be through with the super skill at hand. I don't know how I did it. I forgot that was there. But this helps a shit ton. Man, take it away. Also, you can't change. God damn it! Ah! Fucking pisses me the fuck off. Oh, there it is. You just got a fucking bum rush. I thought I was. Certain button to go left or right, like on the Xbox 360 controller. I'm going to shoot bullshit, man. Just for the P1 
your strength to fight. Well now. Ah, uh, this is General Custer. This is Custer from the Atari game. Custer's Revenge from the Atari Born of video. So, let's go to one house. My least favorite level. It's still fun, don't get me wrong, it's just, oh. There's just so much hidden that pisses me off sometimes. Plus the boss at the end always gave me trouble. Maybe this will, uh... Maybe since I played so much, it shouldn't be this hard. Uh, I remember it. I couldn't decide which person to choose, but I decided which one. Monique! By the way, you don't need Mike to know where all this stuff is. This comes on Mike. But it's just so hidden. And personally, I don't like... Oh! I like to know what's coming up so I can plan for it. But with this, it's just so much memorization. It's kind of annoying. That's why it's my least favorite. It's not a bad level by any means. It's still fun, but the pure, like, memorization? Oh, it, I tend to do that a lot, like... Uh, there's a part later on that is going to absolutely piss me off. Especially with the recording curse. Oh! Jesus! Ah! Uh, but even on my, even when I'm not recording, I still do that. It's not even like I do it bullshit, man. The nerd. Uh, there we go. Fuck. And guitar guy. It's just that one. I don't know. It's like my nemesis. Oh my god! Oh, I'm sorry guys. I was doing good earlier on. Like in the early levels. But this! Oh Jesus! mechanic in Mario in Super Mario World. So I actually hate this part in this game too. Thing moves on its own. If you don't keep up, it leaves you. Freaking kill you. Not to go too high for your jumps. Sometimes you do stupid shit like that. Oh Jesus. My least favorite, like, even the final area, hard as it is, I can at least tolerate it because at least that I can see what's coming up. This is just a miserable piece of shit. Jesus! That area for me. Is... 
this always fucking hit me. I think there's a little uh, secret you can do with uh, with Mike here. Go in here, jump over this, go up here, carry on! That's the NES song. I don't remember exactly who put it in. Is it the NES Punk? Uh, his name's Pat. I think it's the N I think his uh, name is the NES Punk. Oh, Jesus! So, if you're reading all this, yeah. The claw, like, uh, Freddy's claw. Call, keep calling himself Billy, so. Fucking switch to the nerd! Oh! I'm gonna save some time because it's easier to take up the pumpkin and keep them in there. That always gets me. I swear to Christ. During my normal run? Oh, this took so many continues just for me to memorize. When to jump, when to just walk. This whole like stage is all trial and error. There's like barely any skill. Other than choosing the right character so you're not competed. That and dodging is a freaking instant kill. Which by the way, I am still so against instant kill things. I can deal with massive damage. Like, if these things took off... These things took off maybe two. Two beers. That would be okay. You know, they do more damage. They penalize you, sir. They penalize you hard. They hit you hard. That's fine. But when they do instant kill, then like it's giving you the ultimate like freaking point of death. Like you can't return from this. You have to start all the way back. By the way, I hate the bats. And the story. Oh, Jesus! Ah! And also, every time I die, I just I get a huge pain in my groin. I get to shut my balls. I'm sorry for that image, folks. But I'm dead serious. Every time I run into one of these kill things, I'm just like, ah! So painful. Oh. And this thing is littered with it. I swear, I'm not trying to like bitch and complain, but oh, I just hate this level. Once you know the layout, it's not that hard. Just knowing when to jump when it's the right time. Uh, when to jump and when to just bum rush it. Just like when to duck there. Get in here. Duck here. Oh, that's your hint to see there's a secret there? Oh, fuck. Yeah. Disappearing weird man blocks. Following oh, secret. These you can see with my can. If you missed it, that was shit pickle over there. Oh, oh shit! I did not mean to fall that far. By the way, so that's good that Mike is at least you're protected from actually like 
jumping and not getting something. Okay. The draw distance for things to appear is kind of crap. You gotta be like right on it. I'm gonna die. I am fucking dead. I'm fucking dead. Oh, this is the part I I'm dreading the most of this level. It's such a pain in the ass. I just I can't get hit. It's impossible for me not to take a hit. Like, I know what to do, but I also have to keep up with this fucking thing. So I gotta... I was distracted by my dormies outside freaking being wild, because it is Friday. It's the weekend, so everyone's getting pumped up and going partying and doing fun things. I don't blame them. I honestly don't. But sometimes it is annoying. And Jesus, I landed right on that! It's because I didn't know it was there until it was freaking too late to freaking see it and change and maneuver around it. This is why I hate this level. Ugh. And I'm just continuing to bitch and moan about it. And I did it! <sighs> Folks, I have a horrible memory. Even in video games. Like, I have a horrible ass memory. So, I'm gonna keep jumping around it! The thing is, you have to jump or I'm just gonna get hit. And by the time I realize it's moving, it stopped, it stopped doing that little snake thing. I'm already on its part that's disappearing. So I have to jump. Because if I take the hit, I'm going to fall. So I, I wish this one ghost wasn't here. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Who? Fuck. Take bullshit man out. Bimmy's coming. But Bimmy didn't have to be there. And here is the box. Um, just a point of reference. I killed them too fast, but uh, if you kill Bimmy is the uh, Freddy one. And Jimmy is the uh, Jason one. Uh, depending on who you kill, the other one will go crazy. I would recommend killing Jimmy first because Vimmy is good to. You can dodge him easily. He doesn't hit you much. But trying to dodge uh, Jimmy when he's like racing across the field at Mach 5, that's hard, especially on normal mode. So, once you beat all the levels, you unlock the final level, laughing, joking, num nuts. Which, if you get rid of, if you just do the first letter of each one, it's LJN. The game that mo makes the most shitty games. So, I'm gonna end it off here in the next episode because once you complete the final area, spoilers, once you complete the final area, it kicks you out. It does the ending, does the credits, and then it pretty much deletes your save file. So if you want to get all the cameos, all the shit pickle uh, achievements, you gotta do it before going to Lab and Jumping Numbers. Because there is no cameos, and there are no 
uh, ship that goes in the final stage. So, I'm ending it off here, and it was a real pain to get past those last two. Being eat it is hard, but it's also enjoyable. It's weird, but it's enjoyable. And you know my feelings about frickin' Ah, oh. oh, Boo Haunted House. And we'll see some of each level in the final level. So, for the third time me saying this, sorry, repetitive, Goodbye, hope you had a fun night, and I'll see you next time for all the cameos and chip pickles, the ones I know of. I'm just going to go straight through it. Uh, I'm going to have to edit most of it, just to show you where each one is. I'll start the intro, and then get into it. Adios!